Okay, everybody, assalamualaikum. And today we are going to talk about class two of antiarrhythmic drugs. Class two is beta blockers, and I'm sure you all would be like, oh, we know about it, isn't it? Because we have already uh, discussed drugs that are used to treat congestive heart failure and other conditions where we discuss beta blockers in deep detail. So I will uh, talk about it where it will make some difference, okay? I'm not going to dig deep into it. All right, so again, cardiac action potential, I want you all to remember this. Uh, first step is depolarization, then is phase one, phase two, phase three, and then there's phase four. Now this is class two, right? And here, if you see here, so you see here is making this difference. All right, so what happens here is, wait a minute, let me get the pointer. pointer. Okay, so what happens here is, remember if we go back, so this is phase four, okay? Wait, I've got a message. Oh, okay, Rabia. Rabia, beta, thank you so much. Rabia, please remind me after the class, okay? I want to post this question actually, okay? Thank you so much, Rabia. Okay, I'll talk about it. Don't worry. Okay, wait. So you look, see, uh, this is phase four, all right? And when, if you if you look at the graph where I try to compile all of the drugs actions together, so you see here, this is class two effect, right? So what it's doing is, you see, it is, uh, you know, affecting phase four, all right? So now how it's going to affect, let's read about it. So you see, class two are beta receptor antagonists, including propranol, which act by reducing sympathetic stimulation. What they're saying, I'm sure you all know about it. They inhibit phase four depolarization, depress automaticity, prolong AV conduction, and decrease heart rate. Okay, what do they mean? Because you see, I tell you what, here in just two lines, they have literally used so many terminologies which are important for this class of drug, okay? And literally in the exam, you're asked about it, that which class of drug decreases automatically, prolong AV, and you know, stuff like that, okay? So you see, uh, first of all, we have already talked about that what is phase four. So they use, they inhibit phase four depolarization. So when we talk about phase four depolarization, okay? So you see here, so it means that they are affecting this, this specific part of the cardiac conduction, all right? And whenever we talk about depolarization, what does depolarization mean? Depolarization means that positivity is getting inside the cell, okay? Whenever I talk about repolarization, it means that positive ions are going out of the cell and negativity is being increased within the cell, all right? So when I say, when I say, that it inhibits phase four depolarization. It means that it will inhibit positivity to get inside, okay? And that's how the effect will be produced. So it will depress automaticity, prolong, depress automaticity. What is automaticity? Automaticity is this, that, uh, you know, heart does not need a specific set of instruction from us uh, in order to get it uh, in the beating state, right? It does beat on its own, right? So whenever we say dep depressed automaticity, it means that it is sending less electrical signals, okay? And which is why the AV conduction is pro prolonged. And of course, when it's being prolonged, so ultimately heart will beat less, right? except for agents that have sympathomimetic activity as well and contractility. Hmm. So the major drug 
as I'm sure you all already know the names of these drugs, I'm sure these are not a new set of drugs for you. So this is propranolol, and then we have ismolol. So you see, these are two important drugs. So when we talk about propranolol, so it is a non-selective beta adrenoreceptor antagonist. All right. When I say non-selective, it means that it will go and it will start hitting the beta receptors wherever they are. Just either they are beta one, beta two, or whatever. Right. Okay. But then we have esbutalol and ismolol, which are selective, and they are selectively antagonizing beta one adrenoreceptor. Right. Okay. So that's how these two drugs, these three drugs actually control or treat the ventricular arrhythmias. Ismolol is ultra short acting, is administered by infusion, and it is used to titrate block during surgery. Now, what is this titrate? Titrate means that they keep on giving and they keep on monitoring and how much of the drug is required and then the dose is, be, is being adjusted. Then we have propanolol, metoprolol, nadolol, and timolol. So these are frequently used to prevent recurrent myocardial, uh, myocardial, infect, myocardial infection, infarction, sorry, myocardial infarction. What is recurrent? Recurrent means that it is happening again, all right? Okay, so therapeutic uses class two drugs are used to treat um, tachyarrhythmia tachy caused by increased sympathetic activity. So yes, they are blocking the sympathetic nervous system. They are also used for a variety of other arrhythmias, including atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. These drugs prevent uh, reflex tachycardia produced by vasodilating agents. They are sometimes used for digitalis toxicity. So adverse effects are uh, arteriolar vasoconstriction and bronchospasm, okay, because of the compensatory mechanism. Then we have bradycardia, heart block, and myocardial depression may occur, as we have already talked, that it will depress the heart rate. Atropy uh, or isoproterenol may be used to elevate bradycardia. That is it for the class two of the antiarrhythmic.